Hello, my friends. Today we're going for a walk to Winter Quarter in Viaduct Harbor. Actually, I've come to attend the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series 2023 final tour stop. Two winners will be crowned at the sixth and final stop of the 2023 season, which will take place on a brand new waterfront in Auckland, the city of Sales. A large screen is set up to display the diver's varied actions. It is impossible to witness the diving from afar. So peering at this large display would let one grasp what is going on the other side. I proceeded a little further and found an excellent position from which to see the diving. The crowd may be seen watching the action on either side of the waterfront. And this region is known as Viaduct Harbor. Because this is an international event, you will see numerous worldwide sports photographers attempting to capture the best action performed by the divers. I tried zooming on my video camera but did not capture the video I intended. I was unable to capture the actions as planned. So I decided to walk to the diving platform. While walking, I noticed the throng standing silently and observing the divers. Once the divers enter the water, there is a round of applause around the neighborhood. Viaduct Harbor is noted for its waterfront pubs. There are many pubs on the right side of the promenade. You may also hear the commentator's comments. As I neared the diving platform, I found it difficult to proceed any further due to the large throng. I stood in this position so that I could plainly see the divers and film their actions. That was a great jump. In this hot weather, People love watching the divers while sipping on cold beer. Mira is going to be showing us a reverse somersault and all three positions. standing here, I was able to take a couple more dives one by one. Then I decided that after this specific dive, I'd go for a walk around the area and record some videos for my audience. Now I'm walking towards the Viaduct Lift Bridge to take more videos of the region. This charming Red Bull Mini Cooper is parked in front of the Viaduct Events Center. You can see a massive crowd waiting to cross the bridge. The Viaduct Lift Bridge, 
also known as the Winyard Crossing, is a modern double bascule pedestrian and bike bridge that was completed in Auckland in 2011. It connects the renovated Winyard Quarter to Te Wero Island and the existing Viaduct Harbour Entertainment Zone, as well as the larger Auckland waterfront. The 100-meter-long bridge may rise to allow watercraft to enter the Viaduct Harbour region, forming a 36-meter-wide canal by lifting two 22-meter movable sections. The bridge has been lowered to allow watercraft to pass over, resulting in a large crowd. That is the famous Auckland Sky Tower. Auckland Sky Tower serves as both a telecommunications and observation tower. It is 328 meters tall, the Sky Tower completed in 1997, has become an iconic feature in Auckland's skyline due to its height and design. It includes three observation decks of varying heights, each offering 360-degree views of the city. You may see a couple ferries moored in the water. The upper portion of the tower houses two restaurants and a cafe, including New Zealand's only revolving restaurant, placed 190 meters above ground and rotating 360 degrees every hour. This is the beer cycle. It is extremely interesting to see folks sit on it and pedal while drinking beer. You can see a tourist ship leaving the Auckland cruise ship station. The foreign cruise ships that arrive here dock at this ship terminal. The brown tower-shaped building is the ferry building. From here, ferry services are provided to many surrounding locations. As I mentioned, you can see a ferry transporting people from one site to the main Auckland ferry station. Now it is slowly docking over there. And all of the people will disembark. I started walking back towards the viaduct lift bridge. Now I see the beer cycle is packed of people and on its way to the ride. On the right, there is a move and pick ice cream house. I love ice cream, but we're not going there this time. can see the large structure there. Do you have any idea what that actually is? This is the sailing boat used in the renowned American Cup. I stood there for a while, reading through all of the information provided about this large sailing race boat. Next to this 
boat lies the well-known New Zealand Maritime Museum. This museum explores the country's seafaring history through exhibitions and sailing tours aboard model ships. Once again, I was impressed by this massive structure. It is big. You can see a ferry that is offered for private charter. The Auckland International Buskers Festival attracts a small gathering that witness live performances by performers. It happens once a year. An unmissable and impressive lineup of international performers from all over the world will descend on Auckland's waterfront and CBD over Auckland Anniversary Weekend. With four full days of energetic, mind-blowing displays of fire-breathing, balancing acts, acrobatic, magic, roller bola, dance, comedy, sear wheel, and so much more to see, unfortunately. I did not take any video of these performers, but I sat there, enjoying their performances. Yes, we are here at the bridge. And you can see that half of it has already been raised. With an incoming ferry sailing underneath it. I believe this one is chartered for some private gatherings. across the water. You can see a group of kids jumping into the water and having a great time. The next one is the Auckland Whale and Dolphin Safari Ferry which transports tourists to observe whales and dolphins. I'm not sure, but I see a lot of people dining on the ferry's lower deck. The raised segment of the bridge is gradually descending. This was a magnificent sight to see. I approached the area where the youngsters were leaping into the water.
watching them jump into the water made me nostalgic. As it reminded me of myself and my friends in their places. The diving platform is extremely tall. For the first time, the women's 21 meter and men's 27 meter diving platforms will rise over the harbor, ready for divers to fall into the warm, sparkling seas below at speeds of up to 85 km per hour. Some competitors emerge from the ocean after diving. while others walk inside to prepare for their dives from such great heights. So, once again, dear viewers, thank you for joining me in today's video. I hope you enjoyed my video, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe so that you may be notified when my next video is uploaded. Again, thank you, and have a good day.